With 41 days to the general elections, constitutional commissions, including Kenya National Commissions for Human Rights, the National Gender Inequality Commission, the National Cohesion Integration Commission, and the Commission on Administrative Justice, have been monitoring the electoral process with the aim of protecting the sovereignty of the people. <laughs> The commissions today met key political parties over the observations in the ongoing campaigns. The commission has noted with great concern the increase of hate speech and incitement to violence cases in political rallies and the social media platforms during the electioneering period, despite the arraignment, the arraignment in court of several politicians. This is likely to negate the gains we have made as a country since the establishment of NCIC. When a, a, a leader who, who, who holds a public, who sways public opinion, uh, makes that kind of a pronouncement, then those who support their supporters uh, uh, will believe and we'll, it is, it, they'll believe it as a gospel truth that uh, our side, we have 13 million, we have 14 million voters. And when it comes, they, when they have 7 million, they will say their votes have been stolen. So this is, this, this is how we set the stage for violence, for conflict, and for irreconcilable uh, differences. The commissions want political players to tone down their rhetoric and promote peace and cohesion instead of dividing communities. The independent bodies in their monitoring have identified Kitui, Busia and Machakos counties as emerging hotspots that need special attention. Further, we wish to state that any security deployment during the campaign period as well as during the polling day must be done in a manner that ensures that every eligible Kenyan voter is free to exercise their right to vote in an environment that is free from fear or intimidation, whether the same is emanating from the state or from non-state actors. During the electioneering period, we shall be keen to ensure that the right to the access information is not infringed upon and, citizen who and citizens who require any information, save that which is exempted by law, are granted the same. Political parties attending the discussion committed to uphold elections code of conduct during their campaigns and after elections. We swore to adhere to the code of conduct and the rule of law to do peaceful campaigns and we hope everybody, even our competitors, will do so. Kevin Washira, Channel News.